Arriving here is like a journey through the clouds. From mighty mountains to the colonial architectures standing upright to the magnificent tangle of mangrove forest. West Bengal? Has it all. Calling this journey just a road trip would be an understatement. Although I did spend my most of the time on ground, this journey started with an invitation. When my friend asked me if I wanted to visit his hometown, I couldn't say no. Cause he lives in what they call the queen of all hill stations, Darjeeling. A place is only as good as the culture it provides to the people. So while I was traveling to his place, I didn't just wanted to travel to see the scenic beauty it has to offer. I wanted to feel the place. Upon entering my eyes were welcomed by these long carpets of green stretched into the horizon. Tea gardens it was. The lifeline of the people of this valley. It brings smile to people's faces here through employment and a smile throughout the world with its exquisite taste. In one such tea garden, we sipped the finest, most organic hand rolled tea in all of Bengal. I had never tasted tea like this before. It was then that we decided to find out where this taste was coming from. We travelled through various villages of Bengal, counting endless faces, in search of what they call the tea tribe. कागज के दो पंख लेके घोड़ा चला जाए रे जहाँ नहीं जाना था ये वही चला है रे उमर का ये ताना बाना समझ न पाए रे जुबा पे जो मोह माया नमक लगाए रे के देखे न भाले न जाने न दाए रे ही शाहरा के मुल्कों का मुंटा रे We spent an entire week with these tea leaf pluckers and their families. Our days would went by following them in the tea garden while they pluck India's finest tea with their nimble fingers. Then watch them as they collect the firewood for the family, come home and put food on the family table. I haven't seen women working this hard in any part of the country. Their whole day is spent fulfilling just their basic needs, but not the nights. The nights I have spent drinking and dancing under the sky. But it wasn't much time until we realized that it isn't always fun on the tribal front. Beneath the beauty and the peace that this place holds, there were ugly truths and noises that we weren't aware of. These villagers were producing India's finest tea leaves. Then why did it felt like they were barely surviving? They sure had a story to tell. And I knew the story was needed to be told. But for that, we needed their voice. They would straight away freeze in front of the camera. We needed their voice. Or maybe they just didn't trust us enough to share their way of living. But for some reason, they found my equipments very interesting. The kids loved me for sure. But it was impossible to make the adults talk. One of them confronted me saying, I would make them look poor to the world. I told them that the world has changed and money and lifestyle no longer define rich and poor. And they let me film. And when they finally agreed to talk, they spoke with pain in their voice. They told us that the clothes they are wearing are all donated in charity. Okay, my boy. I'm the one. 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 I'
Their houses would often be destroyed by wild elephants and were all covered from newspapers to block the sunlight. The food that they were eating would barely bring any nutrition to them. For their children, education is still a luxury. This is Prerna. She couldn't study further because she chose to come back to her village and educate her tribe for free. She later explained that her tribe has been working as steel leaf pluckers since the colonial rule, craft, and drugged to work in the fields. As time passed, slavery became legacy, carried throughout generations. हम लोग गांव में रहते हैं गांव बोल के नहीं एक टी गार्डन है चाय बागान इसमें किसी भी अपना अनाज नहीं होता है चाय बागान ज्यादा है पहाड़ है नदी है जंगल है हॉस्पिटल आसपास में नहीं है दिस विलेजर हैज कन्वर्टेड हिज बाइक इनटू एन एंबुलेंस एंड हैज ड्रिवन ओवर 5000 पीपल टू द हॉस्पिटल फॉर फ्री एंड सेव देयर लाइफ्स मेरी जो मां है ना रात दो बजे बिना ट्रीटमेंट के उनका मौत हो गया एक डिलीवरी माकुआ का हॉस्पिटल लेके जाएंगे हम लोग वो पचास किलोमीटर हम लोग जाएंगे दस किलोमीटर जंगल होते हैं शेर निकलता है राइनो निकलता है हाथी निकलता है बीस रोड में खड़ा होता है क्या करे विलेजर्स प्रॉब्लम्स वर नेवर एंडिंग It was time for us to leave the village but I promised them we'll be back with a solution. That being said, we headed straight towards the jungle to enlighten ourselves on this whole man wildlife conflict situation. 230 species of birds yahan pe hain. 100 se upar yahan pe animals hain. Ye bagan hamesha jungle ka beech beech mein se British pure se aise hi hai. Jungle ka saath saath mein the. Abhi bahut bagan aisa ho gaya jo chhota malik hai. Isi gaon ka aadmi log ne bana diya. Usme chai ka pauda laga diya. चाय का पौधा लगा दिया तो चाय बगान बहुत बढ़ गया चाय बगान जैसे बढ़ गया उसमें लेपाट का आना जाना बढ़ गया अभी हाथी या अदर्स कोई एनिमल तो ये खा नहीं रहा है लेकिन इसके पीछे ये चलते हुए जब वो बगान से उसका घर पहुंच जा रहा है तब तो उनसे कम्फ्यूट हो रहा है वी लर्न दैट सिंस द डस्क ऑफ कोलोनियल रूल नथिंग चेंज फॉर द टी इंडस्ट्री इन द विलेज इज एन एम्प्लॉयमेंट वॉज सो हाई एज इफ इट वर अ प्रोफेशन इन इट सेल्फ दी ओनली थिंग विलेज कुड डू वॉज फार्मिंग एंड इन दैट ओनली टी The fauna in the forest ruined any other plantations except tea. But the small gardens expanded and eventually became one with the forest itself, giving wild animals more real estate to wander, often making their way into the villages and disrupting their lifestyle. Talking to the forest department gave us more questions than answers. It was time we dig a little deeper in this industry. We contacted some of the biggest names in Bengal tea industry. and asked them if they could sit with us to talk about this matter they were more eager to answer than we were to ask questions you see it's sad it's unfortunate that an industry which caters to such a large sector of underprivileged workforce the tribal specifically and 60% constitutes the women folk is struggling it's really struggling sarkar thik se isko dekh nahi rahi hai isliye iski paristhiti jo hai din 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 badhtar रीजंस प्राइमरीली आर द मिसमैच बिटवीन डिमांड एंड सप्लाई सप्लाई ज्यादा हो गई डिमांड कम हो गई नो व्हाई इज सप्लाई अ मिसमैच इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मशरूमिंग ऑफ अ न्यू प्लेयर इन दिस फील्ड व्हिच इज बेसिकली नोन एज द स्मॉल ग्रोअर्स स्मॉल ग्रोअर्स लोग पत्ती तोड़ते हैं एक आत्म में साल में वो लोग 10 राउंड भी पत्ती नहीं तोड़ते हैं आठ राउंड सात राउंड पत्ती तोड़ते हैं राउंड मींस आज एक बार पत्ती तोड़ना होगी उसके बाद हम लोग सात दिन बाद आके फिर पत्ती तोड़ती है सेवन डेज का राउंड चलता है हम लोग का उसका चलता है साल में सात राउंड आठ राउंड इतनी बड़ी पत्ती तोड़ती है डेट इज नॉट टी डेट इज सॉ डास्ट मोटी मोटी स्टेम हो जाती है वो तो चाय नहीं है ना लकड़ी का बुनादा की चाय बन रही है दे कंस्टिट्यूट अ गुड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द बंगाल प्रोडक्शन एंड इन असैम आई थिंक दे आर नाउ अबाउट फोर्टी फाइव और फोर्टी परसेंट सो ऑन द होल दे आर अबाउट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द नेशनल टी प्रोडक्शन विच इज सब्सटेंशियल 
Now we produce about say 1200 to 1300 million kgs India as a whole. So almost 45-50% comes from them. Had they not been there, then that supply wasn't there. Then there was no question of a mismatch. And the industry would have seen good days. <laughs> रद्दी पलटे की चाय बना के अपना धोली भर रहे हैं और हम लोग बैठे रहे हैं हम लोग का गाड़ी सब बंद हो रहा है ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए ना प्रोडक्शन कैन आल्सो बी कंट्रोल्ड इफ दोस पीपल द स्मॉलर ग्रोअर्स कंटिन्यूस टू प्रोड्यूस क्वालिटी लीफ इंस्टेड ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग द जंक व्हाट दे आर डूइंग नाउ द लीफ दैट दे प्लकिंग एंड द लीफ दैट दे शुड प्लक कैन एडजस्ट द क्वांटिटी बाय एट लीस्ट 25 टू 30% इफ नॉट मोर हर इंसान सुबह उठ के चाय मांगता है हम लोग की चाय बिकती है एक सौ पचपन रुपये किलो ये ब्रांडेड कंपनी वाले तीन सौ चार सौ पाँच सौ रुपये किलो में चाय बिकते हैं आप जाइए फाइव स्टार होटल में एक कप चाय का दाम पाँच सौ रुपये और जो चाय पिलाते हैं डेट वर्स्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ टी टी बैग में जो चाय जाती है वर्स्ट क्वालिटी की चाय जाती है टी बैग के अंदर वो तो आपको दिखता भी नहीं है कि कौन सी चाय है ऐसे आप पत्ती तो विजिबल तो देख तो सकते हैं सो है रेड ड्रॉप्स एवरी थिंग टू मेक सेंस नाउ Due to no quality control system, the small growers had their own ways of plantation and harvest. Because they were just farmers trying to survive around the jungle, they lacked the proper skill set to grow tea. Whereas the big tea farm owners, who put in so much labor, time, technology, money, and a whole lot of other things online, were often overshadowed by the small growers because of the biggest differentiator in India, the price. The minimum benchmark price for a tea. We've been. you know advocating this for quite some time now we are associations who are supposed to portray the condition of the industry to the various ministries so white paper has been submitted everyone is aware but perhaps i think it's not a priority sector with the government in terms of revenue and that's why not much is coming into this sector so this was the story of how the finest steel leaves produced in the world barely even has a domestic market forcing the production to be exported abroad When I had that first sip from the cup of Darjeeling tea, the only question arised in my mind was that why wasn't this tea available in every household of India? Imagine keeping a pet, and all you get to do is clean up its mess, while the neighbors get to play with it. Modi ji bolta hai, main chai bhi istha. To Modi ji kya kar rahe hai? Modi ji kyon nahi dekh rahe? We explained the situation of the villagers to these businessmen. and they were more than happy to help us organize a free health camp for them i did went back to the village to keep the promise i made but all i was doing was another charity to them they didn't need charity they needed a solution chori band nahi hogi leakage band nahi hoga to desh kabhi tarakki nahi karega i was bringing so many memories from this trip the people i had met the villagers taught me to keep smiling even on your worst days the city itself held a quietness and peace that i'll always strive in my life but what i couldn't bring is a solution for the villagers पश्चिम बंगाल से खबर आई है कि वहाँ वर्धमान जिले में हाथियों का आतंक है हड़कंप मचा हुआ है अलग अलग घटनाओं में हाथियों के झुंड के हमले में अब तक पांच लोगों की मौत हो गई है जबकि कई लोग घायल भी हुए हैं मरने वालों में एक महिला भी शामिल है